East Coast over here playing each other. Yeah, I'm going for the Choo Choo Train Mechos. And who's in winner's semis on the other side? The winner of Vinny Mega and Fox. Espy, right? Yeah, 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 pretty much. So we might have an Espy versus Mega Fox. That'd be hype. Or Vinny. So if Vinny wins, we'll have three East Coasts in the top five. Or the top of uh, for winner semis of the four. Yeah. yeah, Justin, you should have came. We miss you. I don't miss him. I see him all the time. I, well, I miss him. I, I try. I go to nationals to see friends that are like from California and no, Florida, I Texas. I, I definitely. I'm upset that, that we only have four Floridians here. But yeah, I definitely you know. wish that more Florida came. They're they're hype. They bring the hype here. Yeah, stuff happens. You know, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's how it goes sometimes. It's all good. Yeah, Texas starts screaming in the ears. They're bad people. I don't think you're going to get to see Rio versus Mega Fox because Mega Fox is all the way up in winners and Rio is all the way down in losers. It's okay. Rio's going to win the tournament. He's going to come back? Yeah, definitely. Rio does seem to adjust well. Like, Yeah, he's pretty smart. He adapts quickly. Yeah. I told you guys Shibo was mad. All right, guys. We only have... Almost 400 viewers. Get on that, sharing the stream. Come on, everybody, help us out. Don't you guys want to see the best mid-tier players? And then singles pools. All right, match is starting on Battlefield, Battlefield and not Smashville, which is nice to see. I just know. Uh, Seagulls tag is a shout out to Pink Fresh with the uh, Facebook like. Yeah. Emote right there. Yeah, give him a thumbs up real quick. And Mechos SD Geek. I think just a button yeah. test. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Alright guys, headphones, let's go. Let's get on that. Apex 2014, headphones, all top eight, mandatory. MJG did not enter mid-tier. There's no Toon Link is not legal. Which I don't know, I feel like Game and Watch is better than Toon Link, but really haven't there's no Game and Watchers and winners anymore. I don't even know if Paper and Voldens are still in, and Chibo, I mean, uh, Vinny doesn't even think Game & Watch is fair to use in mid-tier, right, so he said he's going to go all Peach and Rob. Battlefield. I don't like the stage. I love Battlefield. It's nice to see instead of Smash film. It's too small in my opinion. Oh. All right, let's see how this goes. One, go. Let's I see if Pink, uh, pink <laughs> Fresh Pink pays off. Uh, it probably will, but I don't know if Mechos has any wolf. Uh, these guys have played a few times, I'm sure. They're not that far away from each other. All right, but I know Mechos hasn't really gone to anything until, like, Crossfire randomly and now this. I'm not sure, but I don't think I've ever seen Mecho struggle in a matchup, just not know a matchup. He really seems to know what he's doing. He studies the game enough. Yeah, he's very smart, and he knows, you know... I don't think I've ever watched Mecho's play and said, Mecho doesn't know this matchup. Yeah, that's true. Unlike me, who I don't know any matchups. <laughs> it's okay, it's your fault. I know. Ooh, bad situation for Mecho already. Should have gone to the edge. Yeah, Seagull playing very aggressive. That's one thing that, that Seagull's really good at. He knows <clears throat> how to how to uh, land laglessly with every one of Wolf's aerials. And that's, uh, that's a pretty good skill to have. He's really hard to hit. He sets up walls. That's kind of like MDVA's specialty is to set up walls and just be really hard to hit. That's pretty much what all of MDVA does. Yeah. I see what you mean. If you can't get through the walls that the MDVA players put up, you're not going to win. The power shield. And uh, Joe's knowledge of the Lucas matchup will definitely help him in avoiding the, you know, the, uh, the down air to down tilt lock that Mechos does against everybody and it always works because <laughs> Pretty sure they that don't won't hold hit Seagull. No, I don't think so. I doubt it. I'd be very surprised. Seagull's just spacing his back airs. He doesn't really seem to be pushing the kill that hard. Because if he pushes the kill against Lucas, he might get up smashed or something. 
There you go, he just waited for the kill to come to him. I've been talking to Seagull about this tournament for a few months, and he is really, really, he came to win mid tiers, first place. He, oh, yeah. He I absolutely mean, came to get first or nothing in mid tiers. Yeah, that he would is, definitely is, be his, his goal. He is out for first in this event. Yeah, he did really well in low tier, sing uh, low tier doubles as well. Yes, he did. Good or no, re was that regular doubles? It was regular yeah, doubles. it was regular doubles. I'm sorry. Felt like low tier, right, Wolf and Toon Link? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> As MVD said, the experience against Pink Fresh paid off there. This Mekos is not gonna be able to pull off normal gimps. Yeah, Pink nope. Thunder. Oh wow! Look at the composure of Mekos. He, his face. He just. Yeah, like I said that yesterday. Stone Cold <laughs> Killer. Really good. I'm really just. Surprised to see how aggressive everyone is playing today. Neither yeah. of these players is really camping. Like Seagull Joe usually is more defensive than this. He is just going in. That's probably because he knows that Mekos uh, reacts very well to any projectile that he can heal off of. Oh yeah, yeah. And he doesn't have to necessarily camp with lasers, but he just feels like why should he have to? He's had success going in the entire mm -hmm. match so far. Mekos, Mekos getting some nice damage in and putting the wolf in a bad situation. Oh, good dash attack. Wow. Down smash to avoid the PK fire and netting him the kill. That was pretty good. Oh my. Pushed oh. him off to make it safe. Oh, Mekos getting a little greedy, a little anxious right now. That was, a really, that was actually a pretty smart up smash there. It saves him like that. Someone thinks you're going to win. A few people have been saying that. It's cool. Thank you, everybody. Ooh! Great did not smash. kill. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf is really heavy. I, I think he's the heaviest mid tier, heavy. is he? Um, not with day to day mid tier. No, I mean the heaviest th actual oh. mid tier, not fake mid tier. Oh, the ones uh, that are actually legal. <laughs> Does that include low tiers or no? Oh, what, Ganon? Who cares? Link. Link is heavier than Wolf? Yeah. He has a really good momentum cancel as well. I haven't noticed because he just dies every time he's off the stage regardless. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to <laughs> At kill. At zero or a million, he just dies. He's Link. It's really hard to kill Link upwards though. Off the, off the side is pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Mechos has, you know, a, a little hill to climb here. If Seagull just keeps it safe like he's been playing, he can just... Chip away, do some damage, and let the kill come to him like the first stock. Yeah, he has to remain in the middle, you know, have that stage control so he doesn't get gimped possibly, because I think Mechos at this point will go for it. Looks like he's just approaching Mechos and just waiting for rolls, air dodges, and whatever else that... I mean, Lucas doesn't have a lot of approach options. Right. The way that uh, Seagull plays Wolf reminds me of like a Mark player. He never does uh, aggressive aerials going towards the stage going towards the opponent, he's always retreating with them to make them really safe, and then he always auto-cancels them. Good down there. Ooh. That was surprising. Just yeah. grabbed it instead of getting out of it. Yeah, Mekos broke Mekos the back brought real smack. nice. Yeah. Oh! oh! Wow! I feel like that jump from the edge was probably a mistake on Seagull's part. Wow. I'm very surprised that he died from that. It seemed like that was the weaker hitbox. I don't know, man. Mekos kept wow. his composure and won. He never, he doesn't seem to choke that much. Yeah, he always has a stone pose. Seagull looks a little flustered right now. Wouldn't you? You had the lead the entire match and then one yeah. misinput or miscalculation and you're dead. I don't think that jump was on purpose. A wolf's jump from the edge is pretty terrible. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine it was on purpose. And it's probably a really bad idea to get through against Lucas in particular. Yeah, how do you feel about the counter for choice by Seagull to go to Yoshi? I know that... Uh, no idea. I don't even know what to say about it. I know that... The, I, I think the reason why he chose it was because I know the Psychic Kids have a tough time doing PK Thunder on the sides. Okay. The stage usually takes it away from them and then they just die. So it might be to help uh, help him with Mechos not being able to recover. I don't know if Wolf has anything special here. So we shall see.
good shine. I think that's a, a tool that Seagull doesn't use enough in this matchup in particular. The, uh, you know, Invincible Shine to take care of anything Lucas is doing. Just stop him in his tracks real quick. Just like Seagull's that. just been playing really aggressive today. So I guess defensive options like that aren't on his mind as much. Yeah, he's been going in a lot lately. Ooh. That was close. Seagull will have to mix it up in order to win. Mechos is very used to fighting MDBA players, so he's used to dealing with the walls that they set up. Good read on the roll there. Chudat's walls in particular are extremely frustrating to deal with. I don't yeah. know if you've played Chudat. Uh, I don't know. I, I he's never one have of the actually. hardest players to approach ever. I, I know he's like one of the smartest people. Like uh, even when M2K plays him, M2K is forced to go for the timeout, and he's Meta Knight. He oh, cannot yeah. aggressively play against Chudat, or he I, will lose. I've seen that before. He is forced <laughs> to timeout. It is the only way he can win. <laughs> Both at high percent now. Pretty easy for either of them to die. Oh, oh. Does that not work? It. it does. I guess he just mistimed it. I would he's a little nervous. I would have gone for the down throw there. Just get him off stage. Well, if the down smash is guaranteed, it would have killed him. That's true. That was bad. Has to go for Craig. I doesn't read it. Doesn't get to it. Yeah. Nice down throw. Ooh. I don't think that'll really matter, though. Nah, that down throw <laughs> should have killed now. Maybe the healing counted. Oh, nope. I think he was trying to do the super Lucas jump BK fire thing. I don't know what it's called. Seagull with a quick 48% on Mechos. Yeah, good Hau Jackus right there. Oh, he's content with camping now. I said he wasn't camping that much earlier as he usually does. But yeah, he has to mix up what he's doing. If he has a set pattern, it'll get red. No matter how good your option is, if people expect the best option every time, it's going to get red and you'll get punished for it. Yeah, that's why I think players should try to go for uh, not necessarily bad options, but not always the best option in some scenarios, because it throws people off. Yeah, MVD, you're a player that certainly knows a lot about weird options. Yeah, so the the best. Strange snake. <laughs> Got away from Mechos, put him in a bad situation, but didn't capitalize on yeah, it. Yeah, Mechos had the lead back. That was surprising after Seagull got a really good strength to start off the stock. Lucas is good at making comebacks. He can do quick damage with like Nair and tilts and stuff, and then he can kill you. Yeah, he has very reason. good at skill potential. So I'll, even though he's, you know, a low tier character on the tier list, his comeback potential is really high. I, I think he is uh, too low on the tier list. Yeah, I, I think like oh, go for the down smash. I think a lot of characters smash. are. I think Ness is too low too. I'm sure Florida yeah, Ness is agrees. Super good. Florida <laughs> thinks Ness is amazing. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, he got the kill. Good down smash there. Reading the grab, I think Michael threw out. Up uh, air kills. These players are so evenly matched. The they first really match are. is so close. I think Seagull just has to slow it down. I think he, he's trying way too hard. He to might be too nervous because of uh, the pink fresh experience. Might be working against him and making him nervous. It also might be uh, opening his mind to like other. You might be too used to just pink fresh's style or something. Yeah. It could be throwing him off as yeah. well. Other ideas that uh, other strategies and play styles that pink fresh has that is that is different nice heal fresh on Mekos's part. Good there shine. he's using shine now. Yeah. Maybe he heard you. Oh. Just yeah. messing up the grab releases. I I'm not even know if Wolf has anything. I know he gets the forward smash, but he could STI that. He might get dash grab maybe. Maybe down to the forward tilt. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm kinda, I'm kinda hoping Seagull wins so I can see this match again. This yeah, game cool. Three, game three <laughs> would be nice to see. You know, two uh, mid uh, masters of the character pretty much. Got some good mid tier sets so far today. Yeah, definitely. Good it's so hard to think, like, we can't call a winner and these guys are too close. Yeah, um, 
I think Seagull's getting a little too greedy, a little too anxious. Well, Mechos made a comeback in the first game, so Seagull bringing it back definitely happened too. It's not out of the question at all. I think you should start doing empty jumps because he, his, his bear pattern is a little too predictable from what I see. Watch out with the up smash. He needs to get down on the ground. There we go. Yeah, well, being there. above people in Brawl is usually quite bad. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Good foot still. Yeah, I think if he landed instead of doing back there, it's like maybe he landed the dash grab or landed the forward smash. Yeah, he definitely has to mix it up. I think he's just. Ooh. Oh, he had uh, the. He had the a little too slow. Like I, I, up there, that should be it. And he lost. And Mechos takes it. Oh, Mechos very, going very to winners set. finals of mid tiers with his low tier. <laughs> Remember, very he, nice he, job. That's why he fought so hard to get low tiers uh, available for the mid tiers. I think that was me that argued about it the most just because it makes sense. Yeah, he mentioned like, it and I supported it and then I just kind of like didn't care. Lucas is most certainly not broken in mid tiers by any means. No, I mean, he's like, he certainly loses to most of the mid tier characters yeah. matchup wise. And grab is always a thing. It's 